If you're involved in a church worship team, you've probably heard of Planning Center. And with Onsong, you can import your sets and songs directly from the Onsong app. Let's take a look. To import, we're going to tap on the Songs menu to view all of our songs, and then tap on the button down the lower right corner to import. Here you can see we have a lot of different ways we can import, and one of those is Planning Center. Now we will be presented with a PCO login screen. So let's sign in. There. Now, right inside of Onsong, we have our access to import our songs and media stored in our Planning Center account. We can take a look at how we've organized our plans using folders or using service types. Let's import a song. I'm going to tap on Import Songs and Media. Here we can browse the songs that are in our planning center. We can look and search by title, author, or theme, or just browse. To import a song, we can just tap on it. Now you can see all the different attachments that are associated with that song. For instance, here we have a default attachment. Let's pick a different song. For instance, here we have a PDF version of Oceans as well as a Chord Pro version. I can tap to import both the PDF and Chord Pro, and you can see down below we get a preview of each of those as they're tapped. When we're ready to import, we just tap the Import button. There! We've just imported the song, and we can look at it in different ways, as just the text file with the metadata, the Chord Pro file, or the PDF file. Planning Center now takes account for attachments both in PCO and in Onsong. So when you import a song, you also get to import every single one of the attachments associated with it. We can also import media. For instance, down below, we have a tab where we can now browse for media. For instance, here in our media, we have an A-flat pad bass, which is our ambient audio backing track. We have background loop 45 seconds, which is a video, as well as a candle video. We can tap on the audio to take a look at what it looks like. This will show us not just the file attachments associated with that media, but also a preview. And we can tap import to import that. Now because it's an audio file, that's going to go into our audio media library. If I come out here and let's say import this background loop, that's going to go into our background media library. Once a file has been imported, you can see this little eye icon next to the file name. When I tap on it, I can then open up my visual media library or my audio media library with those items selected. And of course, we can play those to see how they sound. Another thing we can do is come in here and import a plan. For instance, I might choose Sunday morning and because I have no future plans, unfortunately, I can browse all my plans as well. And I could use that tab bar at the bottom to choose between future, past, and all plans. I can come in here and pick a plan. Let's pick February 23rd, 2014. We're going in the Wayback Machine here. And you can see that all the songs that I have in that plan, just two, are automatically selected. And then when I import that, that entire set will be imported and not just the attachments that are currently used for that set, but any attachments that are associated with the songs in that plan will also be imported. So I'll be able to switch back and forth between the text-based version of the song and the PDF version uh, instantly without having to do any additional work at all. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we've done with Planning Center integration in Onsong 2023 and 2020. And this uses the new Planning Center API.